Hi everyone, welcome back to the October Fling Together Practice Challenge. I really enjoyed seeing your videos the past couple of weeks and be sure to keep tracking your practices for a chance to win the prize drawing at the end of the month. So for week three, we're going to be working on open potty bars. Uh, before we get started with the open potty bar movement, make sure that your feet and ankles are really warm. I would do some ankle circles, maybe some releves. Uh, you can pause the video and then start again once you're ready. Important things to think about while we are doing open potty bars. Uh, we want to make sure that we are in fourth opposite fifth position. So that means our uh, working foot will, or our working toe will be in line with our supporting heel. Straight out. Focusing on the front foot, we want to make sure that our heel is over our toes. We don't want to collapse our ankle. Um, we want to have that nice straight line. Then, focusing on the back foot, we want to make sure that when we do our back beat, we are not kicking our foot out the back. We want to make sure that we are lifting our from our thigh. That way we get a really nice turnout. Um, and that's really important, especially in the sword, when you're changing directions. So the judges will be able to see you from the front, from the side, from the back. So now you can either face uh, with one hand on the bar and the other hand in first position, or you can face the bar. You're gonna start in fourth opposite, fifth position. And then you are just going to practice open potty bars really slow. So you're just going to do a back beat and then jump, switching feet, and a back beat and jump, and back beat, jump, and back beat, and jump, and back beat. And you're just going to keep doing that until you feel confident with the movement. And then we are going to take our bars away. So, without our bars, uh, Pretending that we do have a sword, uh, we're going to start in fourth opposite fifth, arms in third position, uh, remembering to keep them strong, even though the focus is still on our feet, uh, it makes it a lot more difficult if we have wobbly arms. So, keeping strong arms, we are going to do the same thing, uh, but a little bit faster. All right, that's all I've got for you guys this week. Hopefully some of those pointers were helpful. Be sure to record and share your practices. Good luck, and I will see you guys next week.